The Father is love. The Son, the Father is all love. The Son is all sacrifice. The Holy Spirit is all life. In Him we live. In Him we move. In Him we exist. Next time, invoke the name of the Holy Spirit. We are always used to Jesus Christ all the time. We never, very rarely we mention the Father, but very, very few times we mention the Holy Spirit. Poor Holy Spirit is not mentioned that often. And he is the one by him we, we live, we move, and we exist. He is my beloved. You see, the Son of God came down to do one thing, to bring us back to the position of the Son. When the Son brought us back from that lost sheep to the coin at home and to the Son in the Father's house, He has done His part. When we became sons and gave us the sonship again, He went up to heaven and sat at the right hand of the Father. The Holy Spirit got up and came down and dwelt in us through the holy baptism to give us the condition to the position. The Son of God gave us the position. The Holy Spirit gave us the condition relevant to the position. So the Son of God brought me back and made me the Son. The Holy Spirit now, His role is to make sure I remain the Son. I don't go out of the Son again, out of that path again. So every time I veer off, He smacks me. He cleans the house and searches for me. He gives my conscience trouble. I can't sleep because I did something wrong yesterday. I can't sleep today. The Holy Spirit will turn the whole world upside down to make sure you remain in the position of the Son which the Son of God put you in until the race is complete and you make it to the Father's house as the Son. Who is doing it now? The Holy Spirit. Through whose directions? The Son of God. By whose permission? God the Father. Because He is love. Thank the Lord. Amen. Amen. So from now on, no more clubs, no more pubs, no more clubbing. I kill you. I won't say that word. No more going here and there. Start reading the Holy Bible at home if you haven't. My beloved son and daughter, I love you. But Jesus loves you the most. If you haven't read the Holy Bible today, make it tonight. When you go home, grab the Holy Bible and read it. You don't have one, we'll give you one. When they speak Hebrew, I, I could pick a few words because it's, it's my language. It's only the... The, the, the uh, what do you call it, the, the accent, the dialect is different. But it is exactly the same alphabet, exactly the same alphabet. Hebrew, Aramaic, Arabic are Semitic languages, family, cousins. So when they speak Hebrew, I, um, if they slow it down a bit, yes, that's my language. <laughs> they say shalom, we say shlama. Same. Chamish, chamsha. Or chamish. Five means five. Chamish. Five. Um, so yeah. Read the Holy Bible if you haven't. Start from the Gospel of St. Matthew, New Testament. If you don't have a place in your home to pray, make one tonight. Please, before you go to sleep, go and say, Lord, I just brought you with me from your holy house into my little tiny house. But tonight, my Lord, this tiny house who was my house till this moment, I give it to you. From this moment onwards, my house is yours and I am at your service. I'm your servant. You need to find Christ in your own home where you live, whichever town, city or suburb it is. That's your church. It begins there. When you find Christ there, automatically you'll find him here. And don't ever leave your house without the Lord with you. The moment you come to leave the house, say, Lord, let's go together. Don't leave him behind and say, I'm going. Say, we are going. Because you are not just you. It is the Lord who dwells in you. It is we, not I. 
So Lord, we're going together to your holy house. But this house is your church. Pray every night. My beloved husbands, I know I've taken too much time, but I love it because I can't let you go that easily. My beloved husbands, fathers, if you are fathers and husbands, I beg you, I beg you, I beg you, I kiss your hand and feet. I kiss your hands and feet. You be the leading example to your wife and to your children. You be the man of prayer. You be the man that worships the Lord. You be the man that puts his head at the feet of the Lord Jesus. You be the leading example. You say to your wife, come my darling. You say to your children, come my beloveds. It is now the time, daddy, mama, and all of us, my beloveds, to worship Jesus Christ and thank him for this day that he protected us and guide us and led us to this moment that we are still intact. There is not even a blemish, not even a scratch that happened because it was the Lord wife and it was the Lord my children. Remember this, without Jesus Christ, we can never make it. Never. So now it's the time to thank the Lord. Thank you, Daddy, for waking me up and seeing the light of this S-U-N. But if it is your will that I wake up and I see the light of the S-O-N in the next life, then both of it, let it be your will. As long as it is your will, I'm glad to be here for you and to be there for you. Thank the Lord. Before you go to sleep, pray, worship, make your house, your home, church, my beloved. Enough, Satan. Step on him. Spit on him. Away with you, Satan. You belong to hell. I belong to heaven of all heavens. Pray at home, my beloveds. As family, put away your phones. Like that poor grumpy dad who had three sons. The first son came and he put his hand up and he said, I have an iPhone. The other son said, I have an iPod. The other son said, I have an iPad. And the father so grumpy and miserable put his hand up and he said, and I paid. <laughs> Enough of iPhone, iPad, iPod, I paid. Throw it, turn it, silence it, switch it off. It is family time worshiping the Lord. If you want to see what the kingdom of God is all about, see a family worshiping the Lord Jesus. That is the kingdom of God right before your very eyes. And Joshua, son of Nun, in the Old Testament, he said, but I and my family, we worship the Lord. My goodness, now this is the kingdom of God on earth. You don't need to go there. You better make it here first. And don't even think your PhD is going to make you wise enough. It, it takes Jesus to reveal these things, not um, Notre Dame on whatever university it is. No, it takes the Lord. It takes the desert. It takes the desert to teach you who Jesus Christ and his family are all about. Trust me, my beloved. If Satan appears before somebody who holds a PhD, he will come out of his skin out of fear. PhD means nothing when you face the other realm. Turn the house into a church. Mom, dad, children, pray together. Don't sleep before you thank the Lord. And if your children are still little babies, when you put them to sleep, read the Holy Bible to them. There are beautiful children Bibles you have no idea how smart that child is. They will pick everything and they will register it in the hard drive of their subconscious mind. They will memorize it and blow your mind away. And as your child grows older, one day out of nowhere he will come and he will recite the Bible to you. Turn your homes into churches and come to this church regularly 
to thank the Lord Jesus. Amen. God bless you. I love you, but Jesus loves you the most. And I'm so glad that I have preached for so long. Some of you have fallen asleep. It is good to sleep in the church and not outside, my beloveds. There is no guarantee. The enemy is a snake. Don't go and chase the world and don't walk in darkness because you won't know what is awaiting you ahead. It could be a big ditch and you may fall and never be able to get up again. Walk in the light for everything in the light is vividly clear. The light of the world is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God bless you.